I've not seen this yet, so uh, this will be a first time watch. This is has gone kind of viral because it's Taylor Lorenz, and everyone hates Taylor Lorenz. Uh, I also hate Taylor Lorenz, so I hope she's miserable. Let's see. The entire journalism industry is basically in a free fall. Today, the Los Angeles Times laid off 115 employees. They wiped out their entire DC bureau in an election year. They laid off pretty much all of their sports teams. They killed their entire tech and business section. They laid off breaking news writers, social media editors, the list goes on. But what's really dark is this is just the latest in months and months and months of layoffs in the media industry. In fact, tens of thousands of journalists have been laid off in the past year. Major media Companies like BuzzFeed News have completely shuttered their news operations. Time Magazine also just laid off a ton of people, and oh, Sports Illustrated basically shut down last week. Pretty much the entire digital media ecosystem that myself and a lot of other millennial journalists came up in has been completely hollowed out. And it's not just digital media sites. Local news has been obliterated. The newspaper industry is cratering. Radio is essentially dead, aside from NPR, which has been gutted. Meanwhile, hundreds of workers at Condé Nast, the parent company of pretty much every major major magazine from GQ to Vogue to The New Yorker to Vanity Fair are on strike because they're also facing impending layoffs. Even mainstream national media outlets owned by billionaires like The Washington Post where I work and The Atlantic where I used to work have done layoffs. If you're a young journalist today, there's almost no on-ramp to traditional journalism. Even if you do get a job, journalists' salaries have been stagnant and even declined. And by the way, we don't make that much to begin with. I don't think people understand how bad the world would be without journalists. Oh, God, that's a fucking ambitious statement. You know, I remember there's a stream I did a long, long time ago, and I was thinking about Disney. I was probably talking about Disney. I'm not sure, but I was probably talking about Disney. And I was thinking, like, you know, everything, all the media sucks so bad. The news sucks. Video games suck. Um, the uh, movies suck, like everything, music sucks, like everything coming out is just shit. It's just absolute fucking garbage. And it seems like everybody agrees with that. Everything is shit. Television is unwatchable. Movies are all garbage that are like, seem to be taking a political concept and then backporting it to an ex existing uh, intellectual property and making a sequel nobody wanted with like an all black cast. Like nobody wants that shit. Music is worse than fucking, uh, music is worse than ever. There's a guy called BLP Kosher. I played him before. I'll spare you. I was thinking maybe I should play some BLP Kosher to hammer this home. How much this fucking music sucks now. And I decided to spare you. Um, and then the, obviously all the written journalism sucks. And it's like, well, what are people going to do? Like what if people have literally no media to consume, to enjoy, are people just like, are they going to do nothing? Are they going to do, are they going to watch nothing and listen to nothing and read nothing? I think that's true. I think especially because nobody has any money anymore. Like the way inflation and, and uh, the, the cost of like necessary consumer goods has gone up in the U.S. Nobody, people just like, okay, fine. I can, I can easily cut out all this shit. I don't need any of this anymore. Um, yeah, social media doom scrolling. They're just on Twitter and Reddit or TikTok or whatever the fuck. And that's free. You don't have to pay for that. And all these people are advertising products that nobody's going to buy because it all sucks. Um, yeah, it, it, I mean, the way that the layoffs are doing it, is it really feels like there's like a general boycott of just everything. Like, yeah, I'm not going to pay for anything anymore. It's all bad anyways. I also really enjoy her, her pretension that journalists offer anything because they don't. I think that almost everybody just gets their news from like a handful of, of people on, on Twitter. <laughs> like it really is just like, there is no more journalism. There's just like the stories come out from people recording shit and uploading it to TikTok and, and Zitter and then other people share it. And that's that's news now. There is no more like war reporter in Palestine uploading videos. Instead, it's Hajik Nashim Bara Asham sharing a video on Palestine TikTok, and then that gets picked up by somebody who speaks Arabic and English and shares it to her Twitter, and then that gets circulated around by Glenn Greenwald and everybody else. And that's just the news now. There is no more war reporter working for the for Reuters out of um, Palestine. It's literally just people whose children have have been set on fire by the idf uploading videos of it and and that's that's literally just the news uh so it's interesting
I'm glad. I mean, it's just it's so grat it's so gratifying because uh, I don't know. I don't want to seem self important when I say this because I know I'm not important and nobody. Re there's only a handful of people. It's just you people who respect my struggle. But I've been dealing with the blunt end of bullshit since like 2014 at a time where like talking about how like before Gamergate or anything talking about like how awful the media is and how terrible all this shit is and how corrupt like the payment systems are like none of that was pop popular at the time. And I've only and I'm not saying I had anything to do with it. I'm just saying that I I've been victimized by this shit. And now in my in my um in my time, I've gotten to see all these institutions which have wronged me rot and decay and all these people that I hate suffer. And it's so wonderful. It's so wonderful seeing all these people and all these things that I absolutely despise uh, implode over time. I'm a very patient person. I've gotten to watch um, a good number, especially Taylor Renz. What, what a fucking muckraker. Hope she's homeless. She's rich and Jewish. You'll be fine. But by the way, if you hate Taylor Lorenz, friendly reminder that I think it's her uncle that is one of the board members of the archive.org um, nonprofit. And the archive.org nonprofit to this day has Kiwi Farms everything uh, manually de indexed from their archives. So if you want to know what kind of rot she's a part of, uh, that is one of them. So if you give money to archive.org, uh, you can stop cutting your checks, but I'm sure that won't hurt their bottom line for a while. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!